Uh, this was uh, September the 27, 2024. I have to do another video like this about the coach and uh, Danilo Turk. That will date into financial business upon Slovenian independence, basically theft of Slovenian financial resources uh, from Slovenian banks upon Slovenian independence, which were used afterwards to invest abroad, mainly into Asia. Uh, something I have already written about, however, I was so angry. I get so angry that sometimes I don't even want to record the video. That's how angry I get. And uh, I don't know, sometimes it takes me days, sometimes it takes me even a uh, month, months, that I come back to the subject. Not because I would not recall one or anything like this, but because it's, it's, uh, it's an anger that uh, literally prevents me from uh, completing the project. And indifferent was with this project here, with this UNICEF disgrace project. I named one as disgrace because my schoolmates were interrogated, literally interrogated during MK Ultra. Uh, not only on this, for this matter, not only for this issue, but for a number of other issues. And absolutely had no choice other than to lie about them. They absolutely had no choice other than uh, misrepresent facts in whichever way Milan Kuchan, who was in control uh, of these schoolmates, every one of them, since the kindergarten, uh, would submit his uh, report to whoever from abroad was willing, nobody more than United Nations, to collect the information. Of course, United Nations, because United Nations had to cover its ass, not because they would be on my side, not because they would have what as they they claimed were there to help me out, assist me, uh, but literally because Milan Kuchan was simply dodging entire dossier from Udba, everything KGB managed to assemble since my earliest childhood. Uh, he was making his points literally inside, indoors, with people that would come to visit whenever hijacked from United States. They would have all kinds of people coming and, in, you know, interact with me. Uh, they would... What they do is they give you... They discuss the issues with you during MK Ultra. They present them through the torture, through the issues. In whichever way these issues they want these issues to be seen as by the foreign observers it's like they give them a job and they assist and they basically they assist one another that's how it goes and then what they do is they follow up and they interrogate people who were in this case my schoolmates same kids to whom they gave the assignment to do bad stuff literally just like this, uh, and use them during MK Ultra interrogation uh, to interrogate me in front of the foreign observers, literally, to give me facts from my schoolmates so that I would not even think about think. That's how this stuff is done, so that you understand how they do this stuff. Um, the units of disgrace none bigger than units of disgrace because my grandfather was utterly at the request of United Nations, literally ambassador for United Nations in Slovenia. He represented United Nations really at request of United Nations. Uh, they wanted somebody uh, in United Nations and so literally he became after the World War II uh, started to represent the United Nations in Slovenia. The United Nations crime goes all the way to the kindergarten. When I was age 
five, six, uh, just sometimes before entering the school was when Milan Kurchan started to sicken with the educator, with the early kindergarten educators and with the early uh, grammar school educators. Grammar school educators, teachers already, some already were involved in MK Ultra when I was in the kindergarten. They were totally familiarized with my case. They totally knew about my case. And some of the kids from kindergarten follow up with me to the grammar school. And some even through the grammar school into the high school, which is not an unusual thing. I mean, it's a normal thing. But here is the stuff. In the kindergarten, for the first time, it just happened for the first time, uh, the violence that involved African population was present all the time. The thing about it is that I will never forget when I was introduced, explained literally by the teachers about what this case is going to be inside of the kindergarten. Just before I entered the grammar school, the teachers took time. They talked to me. They, they spoke about all these issues, about what I did not even know, what the fuck it is, racism and stuff like this. And they mentioned uh, black children. Kuchan was the one who was not on the picture, but who ran the whole procedure. This was the guy who started in the kindergarten with, at age five, he started to compare me with Adolf Hitler, this individual here that you see. This is the man who started to match me. At age four, age five, this was the guy who demanded from the teachers to literally instill in me a neo-Nazi attitude. This guy right here in front of you was the guy. Was the guy when I was five years old who guaranteed me that I will be a neo-Nazi, just like a Germans, just like a Hitler. Uh, nothing I knew about neo-Nazis, about a Hitler at age five or even four. I had no fucking idea. So when I ask, so did you understand from the earliest childhood how the neo-Nazis are made? When I asked the man, I said, well, what is this? I didn't only ask him. I asked him, but he had a teacher to explain me. I said, what is this? What is the, what is this uh, neo-Nazi? What is the Nazi? And what is the Germans? What is this? And uh, you know how they explained to me? They explained to me with uh, colors. They did not explain to me in a black and white picture but they explained to me in the colors. Uh, what exactly is this in the colors? This technology of turning child into a Nazi requires more than just an explanation. Well, you know, this was a Nazi Germany and Nazi Germany, this, 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 this and that and so on. You can talk to this stuff to the four years old, five years old. Uh, the thing is, he will not understand. You know, you can tell him, even if you have a child going into into a grammar school or high school, you can talk to him, oh, blah, 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 you know, all you want about this stuff. He, he will know, he will understand, he, he will remember. But in the colors, that's like, when you get the black and white picture of the picture, and you introduce him into MK Ultra scenario, and you explain him like, Okay, this is a black child, and the black child will hit you, and there is nothing you can do to him. Why not? Uh, unlike other child, why not? Because he is black. Uh, and uh, what exactly that means? Well, that means that, that uh, this is written by the law that is like this and like this. Uh, if you do this, you are neo-Nazi. Um, to the child, this does not make any sense if you tell him like this. So what they do in a color picture is they start to, in a torture, they start to do 
physical part involving black children from the Africa, which was in my case. Uh, they started to literally engage uh, small black children literally into violence. And uh, if you would want to return right here in Slovenia, if you would want to return with a violence, uh, it would be uh, and teachers, not only children that would come and uh, I'm not going to say defend them, but uh, punish. This isn't about defending anymore. This isn't about um, justice or anything like this, but this is to portray a child uh, the injustice. So this is about the punishment. This isn't about, this is about injustice, I should say. This is not about the punishment, this is about causing one injustice. In other words, sickening him, sickening him. And when they would do a lot of this torture, uh, what they did, and that was just on a transition between the uh, kindergarten to the to the uh, to the grammar school. Uh, as soon as I enter, uh, uh, I remember grammar school like a first grade. Uh, it was impressive. It was impressive. Uh, a torture went on involving black kids uh, doing stuff. Uh, Really, really sickening stuff, really sickening all kinds of stuff, um, presenting you and the girls are not going to, you're not going to have a girls, they will have a, your girls, they will have this, you will have that, you're not going to finish the school, they're going to finish the school, you have to accept that they will finish the school, you will not finish the school, you will be rated literally as mentally ill. They take time to explain you what mental illness is. Age four, five, at six, I entered the grammar school, literally. Uh, inside of the grammar school, the teacher came. Before he came on the picture, uh, they told me, uh, with uh, children, with the uh, female children, with the uh, girls, good-looking girls, laughing at me uh, in like total with a total disdain for pain, for suffering. And you're talking about maybe, okay, maybe like two years older girls uh, than myself, maybe age eight or something like that. And uh, you know, giving me example on how it works with the black children literally laughing in, you know, they explain you, we, uh, it was explained, a teacher explained, uh, by the way, tomorrow we're going to have a UNICEF collection, we're going to have financial contributions to United Nations, uh, and in a class in the school where they had me drugged up, much of this stuff went in afternoons or on Saturdays inside of the school. Um, who the fuck knows how many days during the weekdays uh, MK Ultra also went on. There were classes that did not exist. There were classes with the teachers that did not exist, literally. And by the way, God forbid, I remember the police, God forbid that somebody would notice me in the school that I was, that I would actually see other class. During MK Ultra, it was all the time accented. He must not go to the certain area of the school so he doesn't see the other class. Grammar school girl. So he doesn't, so that means they had a class going on. They have a full-time class going on. And this during this weekdays that I went missing in some other class with some other children, with the teachers that were, that should be somewhere and were somewhere else. And was explained the next day, we're going to have a collection of, for the UNICEF. And by the way, if you will miss this, and this was like very, very early on, not like after I entered the grammar school from kindergarten, but it was quite early. Maybe, I don't know, they started to collect this money for the children 
UNICEF maybe like a two months after the entry into grammar school. This is how early this transition was. And so the teacher explained to me, he said, by the way, tomorrow we will have this collection for the money from the UNICEF, like this with a smile on the face, and we will see how much money you will contribute. Uh, and then they use these girls. And by the way, if you will not contribute, we already explained to you that you will fail. And if you will contribute, then our friends, our black friends, uh, the only thing they will do is they will collect your money and they will happily go with your money. And this is what life basically is all about in that sense. Uh, so how sick this stuff was the next day when the teacher actually came and told me about the certain signs that she will do to remind me with the schoolmates about these things the total attention total attention from entire class on me on how this is going to play out uh, and my deciding that um, I absolutely will uh, uh, contribute a required amount of money and absolutely I gave the teacher uh, the required amount, uh, amount of money uh, after the parents gave me this money boom I submitted the money literally to the teacher I will never forget the teacher in the first grade or grammar school she ate more shit that day than she ate entire for entire life that's how she hated me the hatred of this teacher of this adult teacher it's like incommensurable you cannot measure this there is no there is no number she became like like you know eat shit she eats shit she eats shit the kids were looking at me and it literally the eat shit it was like for me personally i think it was i didn't know anything about this but it was a psychological pain it was literally uh it literally hurt me okay it was it literally was um some sort of mental illness that i met that day in the first grade of the grammar school it was a mental illness for the first time in my life something like this i have not experienced scum of the scum that is unheard of that world have never faced off i don't think that maybe i don't know maybe they do it in other countries like this too i don't know how they produce this nazis whatever they do the so-called nazis this is how milan kuchan did it milan kuchan participated always observed and uh he probably had a good breakfast lunch and dinner that day talking about shit uh, when stuff like this would happen, Milan Kuchan, who uh, participated, it would be... He used Gregor Golovic, here from Novo Mesto. Uh, he used a set of other, older, uh, not gonna say children, but uh, older kids, teenagers. Um, and... Uh, a misery. Uh, misery misery is something that uh, I've not seen on the children. I've never seen misery in the children. For the first time, I started to see, observe misery on the children. Uh, maybe when I was in, a, I don't know, 6th, 7th grade, I started to see a lot of uh, mental illness, basically. I did not experience, though, any kind of uh, misery. That's interesting. So if you want to know if child, your child is ever mentally ill, you have to observe issues such as misery. I never ever was miserable because I was always busy looking for the solution no matter what. I was depressed. Uh, I eventually fall into depression uh, in, uh, I, I don't know, it was probably a grade four in the fourth grade that I started to wonder what the fuck life is about and this is never gonna end. Uh, it was so crazy, uh, but I never ever was miserable. Really, for the first time, I realized uh, misery was when I, uh, when they started to play too much with the forced unemployment. And uh, that just didn't happen anytime soon. 
um, that actually um, started to happen maybe sometimes in pff, who knows uh, uh, maybe maybe when I was at age um, Oh, the ma the misery in my case kicked in so late uh, that it would be impossible to to talk about mental illness because simply uh, the transition was so long, so nicely uh, procalculated, so nicely uh, in you know stagnated properly uh, in you know through through. Um, set of issues through through the struggle that uh, I was actually the one who started to choose the misery but the thing is that misery I don't recommend one anyone I I experienced misery probably um, Maybe the first time I experienced misery was when I realized that British Royal screwed me up big time and that was so late, relatively late and that's when, you know, because I depended so much on, not depended, but not relied on, on depended, but I uh, invested in them so much that uh, eventually one thing is MK Ultra, but when do, when they started to do the cyber torture and stuff like this, um, eventually once I started to dive in this MK Ultra and I started to study their pictures and stuff like this, started to record this uh, in real time and match this with uh, media news, they keep displaying and keep bombarding me with this mental illness, that's with the misery. Um, you're talking about probably, I don't know, 2018, maybe that misery started to kick in. So, relatively at age 46, maybe, or something like this, I have no idea. Uh, very, very late in my life, four, uh, sorry, uh, four, six years ago, that's uh, exactly, it's about right, 46. Misery did not have impact on me. I've seen people miserable. It's a terrible thing to see. Uh, I, I've seen people, all kinds of stuff, talking to themselves uh, all the time. You know, it's just not the way to do it because you don't uh, you don't produce uh, any kind of uh, you know you don't you don't resolve issues. You know, well, you know, it depends on, but it's not recommendable. Uh, anyhow. Uh, I will never forget the day when they did that to me in the first grade of the grammar school. It was less than two months I was inside of the grammar school. It might be even one month within entry into grammar school. The children were from the Africa. These children they were playing with, black males, were from Africa. They did uh, uh, came to say hello to me. Uh, to me, but there were like three children, Milan Kuchan had. Uh, these three children Milan Kuchan have used for the torture. Uh, at least two of them were much older than myself. You're not talking about my age. You're not talking about age six or something like that. But because of their size, I even estimate that these children were uh, maybe uh, age 10, I would say. I would say maybe age 10. One child might have been may maybe age 10 or maybe even age 11. Uh, I was rated as an adult in Africa already when I was 8 years old, literally, because of my size, because of their size. Uh, they see what you are not by the age, but what your body size. Literally in Africa, it's like this. This is the way it was, at least. Uh, so, um, they came to say hello to me in real time. Uh, sorry, not uh, in real time, but the next day during MKUltra, we met again. 
So we collected the money and the next day it was a follow up. Uh, and uh, this is where you get really, really fucked up if this is not fucked up because uh, these children uh, did not, how can I say, uh, go their way or leave me alone. This is what a young child wants to have a peace if you go through the, something like this. It's it's a it's a traumatic stuff for the child, for adult will be extremely traumatic for the child. This is crazy, and uh, they did not leave me alone. They did not uh, say thank you. They did not, uh, you know, uh, want to become friends or something like that. But uh, they, these three kids. They returned back on MKUltra picture the next day and I was, literally they told me uh, you, you got the money with, uh, with a big smile on the face. Uh, we hear you gave the money, you gave the money, uh, but we already know that you are no good and uh, we're going to see how you're going to, if you're going to make it next time. In the name of the game was literally in the name of mental illness. I was promised to be a mental patient at age six, literally by Milan Kuchan. This was the first experience with the UNICEF. This stuff repeated afterwards. The anger, you can imagine what kind of rage, what kind of madness, what kind of Gestapo this is. I don't think the Gestapo, the Hitler, that Adolf Hitler was doing any different than that. I cannot associate to the neo-Nazi concentration camps where they have the Gestapo, where they have this SS, uh, this Nazi guards doing stuff to the people. Uh, but in the terms of Gestapo science, uh, this Stalin, Stalinistic communist methods were probably much worse. This was bestial. Uh, it's not really recorded that other Hitler or Nazis would be using MKUltra for their political agenda. And we are talking about the children from the Africa, African children, solid African children, Milan Kuchan, United Nations representatives knew all about this stuff. They sided with the Milan Kuchan, well, who was a deputy from Josip Broz Tito. What can I say? Uh, money collector for Africa from Slovenia. My money was not worth that fucking shit. Anyhow, uh, I was told that uh, other kids give more. Uh, that my money is not worth that fucking shit. From one to five, uh, my contributions equal to exactly three. Three means a middle uh, because some, some kids did more. Uh, contributed even more money, but most of the kids contributed what I contributed, and there were also some kids who contributed less. You know, 10 to 50, I contributed, let's say, 30, uh, and there were some, mostly the kids would contribute 30, um, 30 and 40, I would say. Um, I cannot say that... Uh, that I was the top contributor or something, but you also had kids with, kids with with 20 and 10 because due to what they claim was financial struggle. This was Yugoslavia. The money was not so much. Uh, in Yugoslavia, where you would go to work, uh, how much money would you make every month? I don't know. Probably... Probably the parents made about that time would be probably equal to about maybe, I don't know, maybe $150, uh, 150 euros maybe today equal. You know, this was long time ago in 1978, something like this. Uh, this was not a very high standard country. This is not comparable with Western uh standards financial standards 
but uh, you know, uh, I did not even decide about how much who's going to give. That's one thing. I know it was a lot of money because uh, for that kind of money, you could buy yourself. Uh, you could definitely buy yourself already something. You know, the money, the money. I don't know the money, the money that that uh, you know that that uh, was contributed would probably be equal today to about maybe. Now I'm gonna say like in a terms of uh, school bag or something like that, and I'm gonna say like a like like a school bag that according to the standard would be like comparable to about maybe twenty euros or something like that, twenty five euros maybe something like this. Uh, there was also kids who contributed more. Uh, let's say from ten to fifty fifty directors of the uh, from the doctors. Kids like a Kosic, for instance, family uh, from uh, from uh, from directors they would give 40-50, you know, and then from the regular kids uh, it would be about 30, even 20, and then some really social disadvantage they would give 10, and those socially disadvantaged they would give 10. They actually have to explain to the teacher why they give the 10 they had to advocate themselves why they give 10 uh, this repeated they repeated as i stated uh, and contrary to what they believe they will with the torture accomplish the uh, we're gonna get to that yeah it's a whole lot they believe they're gonna accomplish with this kind of stuff they did not uh, in fact, uh, I learned about just how much it hurt them. The initial time when they initially fucked me, it's impossible to explain. I can tell you that even today I can relate to the pain. Uh, the first time, the first contribution to the United Nations, uh, UNICEF. Uh, but the second time and the third time they no longer had any kind of ability despite torture to affect me and I actually took initiative uh, and as soon as they observed that I was giving my mother keep giving the money we keep delivering money to the to the school uh, they realized that uh, it's not making me any damage anymore you know, in fact, I started to feel good about it because I realized that it hurt them, you know, that it started to hurt them. Uh, the one who was collecting the money was from India. They had the people also from India involved in this stuff. We're going to get to India about this. In the third grade, however, I no longer wanted to do this stuff. It was just too much stuff that involved black children, uh, no longer black children, but all kinds of children from the third world in nothing other than torture. This was disgusting, totally disgusting. And uh, I told the teacher in the third grade, listen, I told him, you know, um, I don't want to contribute anymore to your uh, money, to your uh, United Nations donations. Uh, because, you know, um, the money that is uh, contributed to United Nations is not doing anything good. Uh, you know, the poverty is increasing, there is more poverty. Uh, other kids already delivered the theory from their parents. Uh, of course, I was not, I didn't have the guts to tell, listen, you torture, you engage in torture during MK Ultra. you're doing this to me, you're doing that to me, you're using kids from Africa, you're using kids from Asia, you're ki using kids, you know, different racial kids for the violence against me. I couldn't do that because that would be a schizophrenia. Imagine. Uh, and that's exactly what they wanted to accomplish through United Nations. So I think that United Nations uh, is a murderous, bloody murderous organization. I think it's an organization that murders children. 
They target children. And I think United Nations relies and depends highly on the so-called Nazism. And I think the Nazism is part of United Nations industry. I don't think genocide extermination procedure will last so long against me if it was not for United Nations. It was presented to me once I grew up that United Nations cannot help you uh, through this guy is going to help you. Then they tortured and put the guy on the picture with other people from United Nations who prejudged against me, discriminated me, and for discriminating, so-called discriminating back them during MKUltra, the guy would come on the picture and say, I saw you, you know, you're done and this and that. United Nations is not organization. This is not a human rights organization. I would be angry on Milan Kuchan only, but, you know, we have to come to the bottom to United Nations about this matter. This is how this stuff went so far in Ukraine, in Eastern Europe, all over. That's how they believe they're going to use United Nations also to what? Exactly what? Revolutionize the world. You're going to overthrow the governments. You're going to overthrow the Western world. And you're going to impose what your uh, Ziegel and Hammer and Star uh, socialism, what do you want to impose? Maybe communism. I don't know what is it you want to. Anyhow, I did not, uh, con you know, I did not protest it against communism, was not even of my interest. That was not even of my interest. Of my interest was what became of my interest was discrimination against my color of the skin discrimination against foremost against my national origin against my language against everything that pertains to the national origin not even really against the religion i didn't care much about the religion really i started to get sensitive about religion later on in life but it doesn't have matter with me uh religion did did nothing really uh did not affect me in any way what did affect me, however, are the issues I am discussing in this video. Uh, this contributions continue, but in the third grade, uh, maybe even fourth grade, I don't know. Uh, I started to pick the signal from other kids that it's necessary to revolt to this stuff and come up with a theory. I actually consented other children, what the fuck to do with this? Because they knew about my stuff. And there was already children that did not want to give the money. And then they were using also other children for who, you know, through whom in meanwhile, in between, just like I explained on the, on the page, you know, it's like, I rather take the money and I go and I spend that on myself, basically buy myself ice cream or whatever. But this is not the stuff I would do. You know, this goes into the same category, like, uh, you know, just telling the teacher that, um, you know, you're sick and you need to stay home. There was plenty of that stuff that went on. I never did this. Uh, if I did this, I did go to the physicians, to the doctors. I'm not going to say I didn't do it. Occasionally, I did that too. Uh, with some virus, whatever, uh, kids were training to eat uh, a potatoes, uh, raw potatoes, the that will give you a fever, you go to the physician, whatever, you show mom, and you stay at bed, and that's it, and that kind of stuff. Um, I started to feel that, or just go and just pretend that you're in the school, or you're not in the school, that was called spritzanje. Uh, I figure out that once you start doing that, regardless of the violence and everything that went on, that the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to go more and more of the track uh, I felt that like you are giving in the pressure and there was no under any circumstances that what the teachers alone guaranteed me that I will give in in the pressure and start missing the school there was not one single unexcused hour I think recorded that I would be missing from the school holy shit like within eight years and it was nothing other than violence Literally, literally supervised not only by teacher, not only by teachers, but oftentimes by Milan Kuchan alone, who became specialized for me. Milan Kuchan became a politician, a visible politician, literally 
I feel through this case. This man spent more time with me in the school than my parents did. This was an obsession. This was a total obsession with... Uh, he had a total obsession with the MK Ultra crime. And that obsession that it was, was uh, connected to the Belgrade and Moscow. Uh, I mentioned you earlier that the children, uh, they changed the children, they changed the children in a third class, in a third class of grammar school. They, however, brought younger children on the picture. There was younger black children all of a sudden that pop up on the, on the picture. Different children, different children, younger children oh, already probably on a second grade. Uh, different children... Uh, and uh, more or less, I would say, even s I'm not going to say even my age, but even younger. That means in a third grade, they had more of these black children with two children, I would say, maybe even three years younger than myself. And I am saying this stuff because the children watch now grown ups. They watch my program. Uh, this children supposedly departed to Russia. They don't stay here in Slovenia, from what I understand. I was told they departed to the Russia. We will come back. And it was exactly the Russians. And there comes the Russians. The Russian connection that keep delivering these children back to Slovenia on the picture. A Russians keep delivering these children back on the picture to Slovenia. However, these children originally were from Africa. Uh, there were um, quite a few of these African uh, kids that departed to the Russia on the picture. Even some beautiful girls, black girls that were on the picture that found their way to Russia. Um, In the third, fourth grade, probably, I don't know. I think it was the fourth grade. Fifth and sixth, there was nothing. And then seven and eight, they started again. In the fourth grade, this shit went on all the way to the fourth grade. And I was really comfortable giving the money. But really, in third and in fourth grade, in fourth grade, it, it happened in the fourth grade that I uh, no longer wanted to contribute the money. So the kids, after I consented the kids, we started collectively with the children to create a theory. Uh, uh, the children went at home. I will not tell you which children. Uh, and they consented the parents. What the fuck to do with this? And parents already had their answers ready. They watched this stuff and they didn't like one even a little bit. So they thought, there's a lot of money for United Nations and nothing is being done about it. And that became an excuse. excuse. I told the teacher, sorry, but you have so much money and the poverty in Africa goes on. It's actually increasing. Uh, so I don't feel that the money, uh, you should be entitled to one anymore. Uh, so the teacher said, and then you have to choose other he wanted the money no matter what, whatever other uh, donation. And there was other donation and that donation was less. Uh, so I, I, I started to donate something else, whatever the hell that was. Uh, anything was better than that. And uh, it was not good. The teacher was Anton Butcher. He wanted to fucking kill me, strangle me, literally. I was promised to be killed because I'm not donating to the United Nations. And I was told that in Yugoslavia is like this, that this is a socialist country. Uh, Josip Broz Tito was on the picture. Uh, you connect Josip Broz Tito, the Belgrade, especially you must and this and that. Uh, during MK Ultra was the horror that went on. Uh, I was threatened I would be killed. Uh, other kids involved in MK Ultra uh, were like, please, Bushtiaan, please pay it. 
and it was not only kids from my class but it was kids also from other classes and kindergarten kids that would still get on the picture on MK Ultra picture uh, please uh, Bob pay that money Bushian please pay that money uh, you know it's like in your best interest uh, this is Yugoslavia you know uh, but I, I, I dig into it and I and I was like but you call this donation you know but you call this donation you know and it was oh how crazy this guy is oh well, my god we're all gonna get fucked uh, you know I give this uh, you know we give this this is uh, we share we we are uh, it's um, it's a uh, solidarity solidarnost yeah solidarnost uh, Popolski uh, Lech Valenza uh, you know it's a solidarity you know we are a solidarity it, uh, this word solidarity was like the biggest word in a socialist Yugoslavia solidarity you know we are we started to learn the politics in a, a fucking first grade of uh, grammar school about the first thing that we learned was about the solidarity the solidarity was number one thing that's what makes us solidarity this is a socialism and Yugoslavia is a leading country in a movement of uh, oh sorry but I don't recall what in English that would be that's like uh, non aligned I would say not in the Warsaw Pact or not in a NATO Pact right uh, non aligned the so called non aligned we are with the India with the China with um, African countries uh, with I don't know who and uh, we do our best to help them out with the Soviet Union uh, and the rest it's uh, you already know swastika basically uh, the countries that colonize them etc 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 there was all the time about the colonization and this and that and so on so this was pretty much uh, would be it and as I stated uh, it no longer helped me out uh, even the excuse uh, that I will not donate uh, Milan Kuchan was in the picture I was promised I will get killed no matter what uh, one last chance I was told it will be given other than that I have to be listed as dead uh, this is the way they operate during uh, Yugoslavia this is not only during MK Ultra, but in real time they talk to the people like it's fucking unheard of like you can fucking believe that somebody comes to you and tell you that you know I could make you and your family disappear this was a normal thing in Yugoslavia you know this was a Yugoslavia zoo literally zoo uh, my father and mother were on the picture on MK Ultra picture uh, I was told the entire family will be killed not only myself but they will get my mother and my father both of them killed uh, everybody will get killed uh, everybody's sister everybody they will kill absolutely everybody uh, involve the family from Bela Kraina into this UNICEF everybody will be killed absolutely uh, they give me entire scenario about jobs how there will be no job how will we know this there will be no that all kinds of stuff and psychiatry and hospitals and so on and jail and this and that uh, and giving me example expense means that udba uh, K uh, yugoslav kgb explained entire system entire pyramid of the way they get rid of the people basically execution complete background about the cleansing total breakdown uh, did so at my very much I am certain at my own father is request and his friends that participated in this MK Ultra uh, with mother and father telling me uh, when you come again to me home I will not give you the money my mother my mother said to me this was in the fourth grade I will not give you the money uh, to because uh, I want to remind you 
uh, through the father. I will tell you that I don't have the money and you, when you will go to the father, you will recall what we were talking about during MK Ultra. And so it was. Again, I came home. Uh, Mom, I guess again, United Nations, they want money, this and that. Um, and uh, mother uh, wanted to learn more about it. Uh, however, I don't have the money. I, and they had a quota. They wanted so much and so much, and it was very expensive. That shit was like maybe two backpacks, something like that. Like you would give like 50 or maybe even 60. Sick shit. Uh, and really literally had a payment quota. Uh, and my mother did exactly what she did. She said, I don't have any kind of money. Uh, and uh, they inserted in this MK Ultra something that they believed I am going to go and beg a mother for the money. This is how many death threats were involved in it, in MK Ultra procedure. But I did not. And my mother kept playing with me, talking to me about different issues, this and that, and so much in United Nations and this and that. Uh, you know what? Go to father. Go to father. I said, I said, mom, forget about it. And she said, no, go to father. Okay? She said, you understand me? Go to father. And so I went to the father. I said, hey, father, this and that. And so on. You know? Uh, well, father was the man who talked to me during MK Ultra. They're going to kill us all. He went on to confirm everything during MK Ultra about the death threats, about what they're going to do to us, uh, job-wise and so on. Uh, and... He said to me for the first time, uh, he related to MK Ultra like totally directly. Father uh, related to MK Ultra like he, he cut the corners. I mean, it was not like something indirect, but oftentimes he would just go directly into it. Uh, and he stated to me, he stated to me like this, don't fuck with me, boy. Don't, don't fuck with us, boy. Don't fuck with us. I'm going to give you the money. Uh, and you better make sure that you give this money to the teacher tomorrow. For United Nations. You understand? And he explained to me. Do you know that this is illegal in Yugoslavia? Not to give the money to United Nations. He did not contribute. Not even 50. He contributed something like fucking I don't know how much. 60 or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, a lot. Like for the three payments, probably because I missed the payments. And then I took that payment to the teacher. And teacher took that money. And then it was two years I did not hear anything about United Nations. They were collecting the money for some other issues. Lahko noč, mami. Jutra te pjeran kočeto, ne? Ja. Ja. Uh, in and uh, for two years I didn't hear nothing it was not nothing in fifth grade not in sixth grade uh, whatever the hell went on uh, I was like somebody would beat the fuck out of me um, and they started again in the sixth grade in the sixth grade however I didn't want I I maybe paid few times for this United Nations and then I didn't want to pay anymore for this anymore at all. Then I really started to uh, reject basically given the teacher even that they would go and on the class they would start to explain to me that uh, you have to pay the money this is only they say like it's a donation but you have to pay the money i told them not fucking paying any money this is called a donation uh and if it's not a donation i want you to uh i want you to turn this into a contribution which will uh clearly specify that we are required to pay so much and so much this was like a total standoff with the teachers uh, also with United Nations representative, which was some Indian guy. 
they started to beg me and saying to me, give the money if you don't want to give it to the Africa, give the UNICEF to, for the India. I told you, I told them, fuck you. Uh, and Africa and India, you are not going to get one fucking dime unless you're going to change what it, what it says donation, you're going to change into payment fee. If you change it to the payment fee and then you're going to get the money from me, that's up to you. Other than that, you're not going to get any kind of money. And then they went on Yugoslavia. I told them, your, your fucking Yugoslavia will not even exist. You know what I mean? Your Yugoslavia is falling apart. The whole thing is going bye-bye. That was basically 7th and 8th grade. I grew up enough, basically, to get up on the feet enough for a people like a Sergei Shoigu, who was involved in this stuff since my childhood, for people like Putin, for people like the entire palette of this people younger generation they had from Moscow. They no longer could physically assault me, attack me. That's how much I grew up in terms of MK Ultra. The violence in, in Moscow, Belgrade, this is, this is like... When the children could not beat you up during MK Ultra, they wanted you, they, they throw you in this arena to fight with. It was the grown ups that they proven you that you are not invincible. This is the Russian way, basically. And so they were using people like, usually Putin's, Shoigus, these are old, old friends. Sergey Lavrov was always big. He was the one who said, hey, you can never do me and this and that. I grew enough to defend myself even from adults when I was in the 7th and 8th grade. When I was 13 and 14 years during MK Ultra, I didn't give a fuck anymore about adults. Uh, the teacher, Brezovar, uh, recognized that a strong guy, he recognized that uh, during MK Ultra, he is no longer in any capacity to control me physically. You know, he couldn't do it anymore to me. Uh, they couldn't do this violence anymore. And I started to gain uh, conscience. I started to gain, you know, I started to get aware that, you know, that uh, margin of survival, basically, you know, including the, this struggle, struggle, this fucking grades in the school, I, I, you know, I survived, you know, this six year, now it's a seven year and eight year and I'm going to the fuck out to the high school, you know, from grammar school and so on. You know, I go about life, you know, it's a big thing when they tell you that you will never make it up to the fourth grade of grammar school and they keep doing stuff. First, the way it all started, it was intended to take me to the graveyard, literally. Then they work on demented me completely through so much violence that they would put me in the school for the kids for the special needs. It's a big deal that you don't understand any of it. That's why I never saw myself. I don't see myself in these people. I don't see myself in, in some, 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 I don't see myself in politicians or royals. I can't. I can't afford because I'm from a different world. I'm from different universe. Your standards were different. You were coming from different. And, you know, what you call equality and I don't know what doesn't make any... It's not realistic, you know. It's nothing even to talk about. Simple as this. Uh, there was other filthy play they played. Um, but that pertains to earlier. That pertains to the first grade and to the second grade and to the third grade of the grammar school when it all started. The girl who collected this money was a Spela Kosic. And there was also some uh, Natasha. Um, they had, uh, you know, girls, you know, one girl or other girl, whatever. And uh, it was like this that at the beginning I asked a question. It was, you know, this is a list? Yes, this is a list. Okay. So I give it the money? Yes. Uh, and then uh, you, uh, you, uh, I write your name. Uh, I write the number of the money that you contributed, and uh, uh, you sign it. Okay. 
Uh, the next time they give me, it was, uh, I give you, uh, you know, uh, and your name and uh, the number of the money, uh, uh, but the signature not necessary. Uh, the third time uh, and the second time, the teacher jumped on me, jumped through herself on me. They were using other children also, to give me an example, the same way they would give the money and act like, oh, here's the money, okay, so, okay, so my name, that, this, that, okay, so you did, you did, okay, thanks, bye. Um, to make you believe it's a normal thing that they, you know, you give the money, you give this, and yeah, that's it. You know, used even a fucking teacher to tell me, what do you think, she said to me, adult teacher, female, um, what do you think, that what, she is representing me here, basically, like this, she said to me about the schoolmate, uh, very, very, after two, three times like this, the only thing I would do is, uh, for the United Nations, okay, here, check the money, uh, okay, I do this, okay, bye, looking at me, uh, and during MK Ultra, you did not check if she paid you, he did not check, no, he did not check if she, if she paid, and again, he did not check, no, again, he did not check, I had this Gregor Golovich, no, oh, again, he, he did not check if she wrote down his name in the number. Uh, uh, why? Because you mentally retard that with uh, uh, how do you know and this and that. Yeah, leave him alone. He's mentally retarded. Yeah, exactly. I'm mentally retarded. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly the way it was with the United Nations, with the UNICEF. Uh, this is not the whole story. Uh, Milan Kuchan went insane. Because not only I gave the fucking money to United Nations, uh, but he went completely like, you know, that picture scream from this, I don't know, this Bergen Norwegian artist. Uh, he went totally demented because I didn't give a fuck about anymore. About United Nations, not about United Nations, but about fucking money. It's like, here. Uh, United Nations, here, 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 and they were making these funny things, thank you, and walk away. Uh, during NK Ultra, I was rated mentally ill, I don't know what, he because he's mentally ill, mentally ill, mentally ill, he told him mentally ill, whatever. This shit went on all the, the uh, why you don't ask, why you don't want your name on it? So you fucking tell me today, why is it that I didn't want uh, my name on it? Because uh, it was the way it was done in Yugoslavia. This is the way it was done in Yugoslavia. You know, you are just taught, give, give, that's all. Yeah, this is Yugoslavia. What I described to you, this is the definition of the Yugoslavia, of Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan insulted and insulted. He wanted... At all the costs for me to acknowledge, you know, cause mental pain every time so much, every time so much. I didn't do this. I took from Mama, Papa, how much? Here, here, United Nations, here, 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 here. That's it. Here, take, take it. Uh, in the sixth, uh, in the seventh grade, uh, a guy from United Nations became a new guy, actually, an Indian guy, uh, in the sixth grade. Yeah, there was some collection also in the sixth grade, whatever the fuck it was. And uh, for everything I have done for United Nations, I was not worth that fucking shit. This United Nations guy from India, uh, I have to see, I have to see who were the United Nations people and stuff like that. Maybe he was so big, we had to find out who was selected for these contributions here for Yugoslavia, for Slovenia, because this was a good friend of Milan Kuchan, also like a previous one. The previous one, I think, was black, whatever. It was not the one, it was more. Uh, but this one was actually Indian. Uh, it was like always presented to me like a friend. This is going to help you and this and that. 
and very soon he jumped on me and I was guilty for everything even for that he saw me that I didn't want to give the money and this and that this is basically the way it is so I figured out that the best is basically to cut off completely and have nothing to do with it unless as I said you put it in writing donation that's going to resolve our dilemma with the payments a lot of money went to United Nations and the only thing I've seen from United Nations was the knife under my throat basically they slit my throat as much as they possibly could in every corner of this world they were using it literally to penetrate to remote uh, not only to remote but inaccessible due to war conditions whatever conditions areas uh, supported by the Russian American governments um, collection money collection contributions donations and so on this is United Nations they talk about uh, sex slavery, they talk about abductions, they talk about, uh, you know, they talk about all kinds of issues you can find under the United Nations. Uh, go ahead and read them all. And uh, they are the engine, they were the power of crime, in my case. I'm not going to say they didn't save lives. I'm not going to say that uh, they did not improve, uh, you know, circumstances certain circumstances in parts of the world i'm not going to even say that donations are a bad thing for the united nations this is not what the fuck i'm saying uh, i'm just saying that this is my case yes i'm not saying that you should not contribute to the united nations i am not saying that you should uh you know i am just saying that this is my case this is a police report basically that's all the fuck i'm saying i'm not saying anything else I'm going to stop. I don't know what I was going to go more philosophical about this stuff. is no philosophy necessary. This is just a police report for you to understand all about the United Nations and Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan would literally use... It was a good thing about this UNICEF because I recalled the stuff about the way that... I already explained to you. Uh, they, the United Nations people needed to justify and... Uh, people from here needed to justify so they, they helped one another so this is United Nations this was Yugoslavia this is the way it was okay this is this is the way it is this is this is this is the Nazi school if you if you wanted to know how the Nazism work what the Nazi school is this is the way it is. this isn't this is this is a Kremlin this is a Moscovia that's why you know I'm, I'm asking to the US Congress to the White House as an American citizen, as I became in 2000, uh, how many more lives, how many more countries is it going to take before you're going to act, actually? Thanks for watching this video. Yeah, this is completed. What I posted and I couldn't, for the fuck of it, I was, I was, I was out, I was so angry that I wanted to video record this stuff but it was so many issues involving it and I was so angry so insulted you don't understand this stuff how bad this stuff is that I simply could not go and even complete the video on this subject there is some uh, different data data that differs from that is entered here but that's a normal procedure because when you get into the certain subject absolutely everything every year absolutely everything doesn't come to you because you have to recall this stuff this stuff was some of it was in real time other stuff was during mk ultra mk ultra in terms the way i do the report on mk ultra about what went on yeah this is simply godly creation that's all there is if somebody can do something like this kudos this is the report on Mr. Milan Kuchan, who became, eventually became a first Slovenian president. Yes, the Sloven Slovenian nation, Slovenes awarded him with the first Slovenian presidency. He became Slovenian president. And I, who, I did explain who I was. Uh, I was, you know what the fuck I was? I was, uh, huh. Odpadnik in Slovenian language. They say uh, like 
not off grid, but not the outsider, but I don't even know how in English it doesn't come to me right now. I would express myself. So, yeah, very, very, very hard for me to record. I have some extremely painful videos, some of which I did not even video record. Uh, that is just, uh, I'm going to say, too much anger for me. Too much anger involved for me. And, you know, <laughs> they voice this uh, National Liberation Front issues, which is disgusting. It makes the whole thing even more disgusting because because not only my grandfather that was involved with this United Nations, uh, but given that what my grandfather was during the World War II, uh, what he did for this National Liberation Front, you know, both sides of the family and from my mother side of the family where her brother was literally killed in a battle with the Germans with a gun in his hands during the World War II. Uh, others were partisans, uh, registered partisans. Uh, it's, it's actually, it's, it's very difficult for me to video record this stuff. You must understand. It's a school... It's a good explanation about making of the Eastern European Nazi by the Putin way, by the Putin Putanovich, by the Kremlin, by the Moscovia, by the Russia. That's how the Ruskis do it. That's why the Russians, that's how the Rus do it. Serbs and Russians do it like this. Velika Serbia, tu i tu.